it looks like we're about to have an independent Kurdistan. Now, it's not gonna happen in a couple of days, but it could happen surprisingly quickly. Now, Iraq as a state is falling apart already. Uh, what is known as ISIS, uh, they've actually changed their name to just ICE. Uh, they are now just an Islamic state, has taken over a huge Sunni portion of Iraq. And meanwhile, the Kurds up in the north that had a semi-autonomous region to begin with have consolidated their gains. And finally, now they are saying, We'd like a referendum to see if we should become completely independent. Now, of course, the Shiites that run the so-called Iraqi government down in Baghdad do not like that. Well, that might be a sad day for them. So the Guardian explains, across nearly all of northern Iraq, the national flag is no longer flying. The Kurds have raised their own banner above all former central government buildings in Kirkuk which their forces took as the Iraqi army fled from ISIS two weeks ago. In Iraq's west and some of its center, ISIS has commandeered all government buildings and at least three cities. So what kind of a country do you have if in those regions of your country, the Iraqi flag is no longer flown and you have no ability to get it back up on your buildings? It's not like the Iraqi government isn't trying. They have held off ISIS outside of Baghdad, but in efforts to take back some of the cities that uh, ISIS took, they have gotten no success. They have sieged some of the cities that the Sunni rebels hold and gotten nothing in return. They have not been able to retake any of those cities. And so understand how Iraq works. Up in the north is the Kurds, in the middle are the Sunnis. Now ISIS has taken that territory, and all the Sunnis aren't necessarily ISIS, but ISIS is the most radical, the most violent, and hence in the middle of a war like this, they have seized that territory. And in the south, you have all the Shiites. So the Iraqi government, run by Shiites, because Shiites are a majority of Iraq if you put it all together, have the south, and that's solid. But they got no control over the rest. And the Kurds have been waiting for an independent Kurdistan literally forever, right? So when ISIS came in and disrupted the balance of power, they were like, hmm, not so bad. Now here's the one guys who could beat ISIS in their own territory, the Kurds. So for example, ISIS took Kirkuk for a while and the Kurds were like, mm, I don't think so. We'll go ahead and take that off your hands. They have a significant army, the Peshmerga, and they fight. ISIS ran from them. <laughs> so. Those guys are badasses, and let me uh, go back to the Guardian for tell, uh, to fill you in on what happened next. Also in contention is the area around Kirkuk, which is held by Kurdish forces. Officially under direct federal control, the area has long been regarded as disputed. But Barzani has said the dispute is finished, meaning Kurdish control of the area would continue. <laughs> I love that. Like, no matter what you think of an independent Kurdistan, I like Barzani, who's the leader of the Kurds in the north, being like, that dispute is finished. Move along now. Okay, who's going to take it from him? <laughs> Which phantom menace is going to go up to Kirkuk, whether it's the Sunnis or the Shiites, and take it from the Peshmerga? Nobody's going to take Kirkuk. It's over. Okay. Now, the one guy who doesn't realize that, of course, is the Prime Minister Nouri Al Maliki. He says no one has the right to exploit the events that took place to impose a fait accompli has happened in some of the actions of the Kurdistan region. This is rejected. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> now the Kurds know it has been rejected. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> How is that going to help you retake Kirkuk? It's gone, dude. It's gone. The whole state of Iraq is gone. Kurdistan has said we're going to split this up and we're going to take our area. That is gone, man. It's over. I was telling you a couple of weeks ago about something that's really important I'm going to get back to in a second. As to uh, the beginning of the end, well, we're now nearing the end. So Iraq's five million Kurds, Reuters explains, who have governed themselves in relative peace since the 1990s have expanded their territory by as much as 40% in recent weeks as a sectarian insurgency has threatened to split the country. As all this madness is going on and there's no Shiites anywhere to be seen, then they're the guys theoretically running the Iraqi central government. Kurds are like, eh, you know what, we'll take Kirkuk and we'll take a little bit more of that and that and that and they've expanded by 40% and there's nobody taking it back. Now, the important event that I referred to a couple of weeks ago was when the Turkish government basically came out and said independent Kurdistan, which they had fought against tooth and nail, they're like, eh, maybe it's all right. 
Now, if you don't understand the region, and which is perfectly understandable, this is you know really specific stuff. I'll break it down for you. Turkey has a lot of Kurds living on their southern border, right? So they've got Kurds in Iraq, Kurds in Syria, and Kurds in Turkey, lots of Kurds in Turkey. So they didn't want an independent Kurdistan because they were afraid it would take some of their territory. Now things have gotten so bad in Iraq, they're like, oh, well, the Kurds, they're a nice buffer between us and those crazy ISIS guys. And in the meantime, they've been doing a lot of energy deals. Ah, it's always the money, Lebowski. So all of a sudden, a party deputy chairman of the ruling party in Turkey says, if Iraq is divided and it is inevitable, the Kurdish regional government are our brothers. Unfortunately, the situation in Iraq is not good and it looks like it is going to be divided. Turkey is the second largest army in NATO. So that's why the US takes Turkey and its demands pretty seriously, especially in this region. And so if Turkey says independent Kurdistan is okay, that means America says it's relatively okay. We're making a lot of noise about, oh no, no, the Kurds should really listen to the central Baghdad government. It's over. And uh, in today's Zaman, they also explained that the deputy chairman of the Turkish government also said, reportedly said that although an independent Kurdish state was previously a reason for war for Turkey, no one has the right to say so now. Okay, so Iraq. It was nice knowing you, not really, but it's over, O-V-A-H, gone. Iraq no longer exists. They will have that referendum in the Kurdish territory. I got news for you, the Kurds will win. <laughs> it will be independent and eventually Turkey will recognize it, Israel will recognize it. That means of course America is gonna recognize it and eventually the whole world will recognize it. Iraq as we knew it no longer exists.